How's everybody doing? It's Doc here, and welcome back to episode 10 of the College Football Revamp Dynasty Mode with the Kentucky Wildcats. Real quick, before we get into the game, just go through the top 25 polls, and we'll cover everything after the game is over, everything else that is. Florida currently ranks second. It would be convenient if they were to lose a few games, that way we can possibly get in through the SEC East and all that, but we are currently sitting at 13th. But I do like our record, I do like our chances moving forward at a prominent bowl game in the top 10 at least so we'll see what happens out of that and we'll see what happens against Vanderbilt today. We're in the music city but country music will take a back seat today because we've got an exciting college football matchup coming up. Before we head down to the field for the coin toss we'd like to remind you this game is brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coke tastes zero calories. Enjoy everything. Okay, so here we go. Vanderbilt gets the ball first. We'll be receiving to start the second half. And he's going to take off with it for game of two. Vanderbilt, not as bad as their record indicates going into this game, but we definitely just got to be prepared for what they throw at us. Okay, second and eight. We just got to contain this team, not let them do anything too crazy, but that's going to be a first down right there by Chris Pierce. Okay, so we're going to send a little bit of pressure this time around, going man everywhere else. And I got to get there. Oh, uh, Corker, Corker, Corker. Corker, that's a pick six, buddy. Okay, second and ten, which could have been seven points the other way, to be honest. Ooh, nice tackle. Okay, so I'm going to run something interesting here. Third and eleven. I know they're not going to run the ball, so let's just cut off the lines here. Pascal's got it. Pick that. They... I listen. Listen, that is just a basically just a Hail Mary. I mean, he's not even. How do you. What is 29 doing? What is 20. What is everyone doing back here in the secondary right there? Hey, we'll see if they run the ball. We have. That certainly looks like they are, and we're going to. Oh, my gosh. That's what I don't understand. We, we, have a, we have a look like we have a strong outside presence. What do they do? They run it to the outside. Okay, so we're going to come out with a passing game for once and not run the ball immediately. I trust Rose to... Dude, he is so shifty. And I can't believe that was only four yards. I could have swore he gained like six. Okay, so this time it's going to be a counter to the right side. Try to get the run game going, and that is exactly what we do. Rose just an inch ta an inches tackle away from getting more yards there. Okay, no backfield here. Got a little bit going on underneath. That's exactly where we're going to go. Demarcus Harris with the catch. Okay, so now I think I can comfortably play with play action here. Underneath for Rig, and that's four yards. Chipping away at Vandy. Okay, so we've hit him with run plays, play action. What about a screen this time around? No block there, but again, gain a six for Rodriguez. Okay, so we're going to randomly change up and go to a goal line formation. Didn't think this would be expected, necessarily. Third and one. We're just going to go right back to goal line formation. I don't I don't think they can stop it, so we're just going to keep, mo <laughs> keep moving here. Okay, going to go back to another pass play here. That is open underneath by Oliver. I swear, how many, how many four or five yard gains have we gotten through the air or on the ground? Okay, third and five. Just going to run some inside crosses. Triangle's going to be open. And there you go, Thomas. First down. Okay, here we are, first and ten. A little bit of inside zone split. And Chris Rodriguez. Man, that falling power. Just got tripped up and gained six extra yards. Okay, second and one. Just going to, you know, just inside handoff. Casual. Casual inside handoff. And he's down to the one-inch mark. We're just going to run some inside zone here. Then he's, yeah, he's just going to walk that right, right in. I wanted to give uh, A.J. Rose a touchdown for that last run. That's exactly what we just did. So hopefully we can tie things here with Vandy and get moving. Okay, so here they are with first and ten. We've got to stop this team. We cannot let this team get rolling. They're actually not bad, as you can see. Unsuspected Ken Seals run there. Okay, here's five wide under center. We've seen this before. They're just going to hit a guy over the middle. Devin Body Jr. Okay, third and one. They're under center. Probably going to run it this time, and they just get it. 
probably should have went with a goal line package there, but okay, first and ten. That was kind of tell I was gonna be play action. I try, I tried to get in line with that pass. I saw it, obviously, but I couldn't set my feet as you can see in the background. Just slid. Another first down for Vanderbilt. They have been getting busy on the offensive side of the ball. Oh my goodness sakes! What kind of stiff arm is that? Okay, second and three. I'm just gonna come in with Corker to the outside here. Maybe make him go inside. No. But he's met at the line there. I don't know who that is. Who made that tackle? It's a good tack square. Just squared him up. Okay, so here we are in a third and one situation. We're closing all gaps here. And get tackled. This time, we go with a goal line package, and this time it's a stop. Alrighty, it's fourth and one, and they are trying to go for it. And we're they're going to give it to the fullback, and he's actually got it. Joel Ducorsi with the first down. We almost had him. First and ten now. It's pretty clutch on their part to get that one, and they got a guy in the end zone. Amir Abdul Rahman getting involved, and just like that, this is a football game. Here's Tisdale. Here's Tisdale. This could be huge. Oh, my. I've not returned a kickoff for a touchdown yet, but Travis Tisdale with a 105-yard return. I normally shut my mouth early on those because I never know if it's going to be a big play or not, but that is apparently the longest kickoff return in the history of the NCAA. I'm sure that 109 has happened before, but as of this point, I guess not. Okay, so Tisdale absolutely electric on that return. We'll see what happens here. Listen, you have to catch these balls. Okay, second and ten now. They're going to do a delayed handoff, and that was weird. I think he just got zooted back. Yeah, look at that. Just got sandwiched. Okay, this is one where we're going to drop someone else back in coverage on the offensive line, even. But, uh, yeah, just contain them, make sure they don't get the first down. All right, first and ten again for us. And I'm going to run this with Terry. Nope, never mind. We're actually going to get sacked on the play. Didn't feel confident throwing anything. Okay, second and 12 here. A lot of slants. We're going to hit... Whoa, that was almost picked. Looked open for a good while, but no. Okay, third and 12. Let's see. Throwing it back. Shoulder. Ollie drops it. He was there. He could have at least had a fourth and one situation, but now we got a punt. Okay, let's see what Vanderbilt can do with it before the half. I saw that, but reacted just a hair too late. Okay, second and three, shotgun formation. Not going to hand it off this time, but that's open. Pierce has got it for 11. Okay, we're going to give him kind of an odd look here on defense. Try to... Okay. I guess that odd look made them go offside, so I'll take it. Okay, second and 15 now after a drop pass. And they're going to run the ball. And they're going to get a lot of yards. Okay, third and two. It looks like they are going to pass the ball. And that's open. Did not expect the the uh, slot receiver just to sit there. Five wide here. First and ten again. And, oh man, they have a guy. Bostic again. Okay, second and six, they're going to go five wide, it looks like. And that is a sack fumble. And that is Gibson ever so slowly returning it for what is going to be a fumble recovery for a touchdown. First, there's this is a game of firsts here. We have a first kickoff return for a touchdown and then a first fumble recovery for a touchdown. Whew. Very exciting stuff here. Our offense, I haven't got much of a real look to see this first half. So we've scored so fast that I'm not even sure if our defense is going to have enough stamina to complete this game. I mean, we need to slow down a little bit here. Okay, third and ten. It's a screen pass. We stop these. 
How many times have you seen on third down? Okay, so now we have the ball in a pretty good field position here with just the right amount of time, I think. Okay, so we're just going to keep it on the ground here with Rose again. And pretty much the same amount of yardage as last time. Okay, so now we're going to pass on first down. And that is open if he can hang on to it. And another 11 or 12 yard gain. Okay, so I really like the idea of a slot curl like they did to us here. We'll see if it's open, and it is. And that's going to be uh, easy eight yards. Okay, so we have third and inches with a running clock. Just going to go ahead and try to pound this up the middle here. And we will call a timeout. Okay, so we're going to go with a quick counter here just to see if we can gain a little bit of yardage. And we can, and I believe we're going to call another timeout shortly. Okay, second and goal this time. We're going to go to the passing game. And uh, hopefully... Wilson is in. Somehow that first tackle did not register from them, I don't think. I was going to throw it, but I thought we might have had a better chance of at least ticking time down if we actually didn't get the touchdown. And also throwing on the run has not been the greatest yet. Look at this. He just got kind of trucked. I mean, I was just... I just... Tried to, you know, just hit him or something, but I did not expect Terry Wilson to truck the man before halftime. Okay, so we get the ball to start the second half here. And this looks like a, I was going to say a perfect situation to roll out to, but it's not that perfect. Okay, we're just going to go with a short stick play. Very, very, ooh, Harris. That was a very, very awkward spot. I just had to wait and kind of see what developed there. I didn't want to run because I felt like something could happen out of that, and that is exactly what happened. Probably like a good 20-some yards off of that. Okay, so we're just going to go with a first down run here, and Rodriguez is going to get five. I feel like we haven't went to Chris very much this game so far. Okay, so we're going to hit Vanderbilt with a screen pass. And we only ran one of these maybe so far. Rose is going to stretch out and get the first down. You betcha. Okay, inside zone handoff here. Rodriguez with six yards. Again, just chipping away. Okay, third and four. Back to the air. One of the, I was going to say one of the two was going to be open, but they ran into each other. Okay, so we're going to go for it in this spot on fourth and four. I don't really see why not. It is a long field goal for Ruffalo. It's been a windy day. Rig is wide open. Yeah, I didn't really see much of the downside in going for it. First and ten, another Chris Rodriguez run play. And that's a gain of nine. So we're just running all over this team right now. Second and one, just uh, going to go to Rose real quick. And that's a first down and another nine yards on the ground. So, Okay, so we're just going to go in the with a quarterback blast here, and there it is, Terry Wilson. I don't think, is that his second rushing touchdown? Yeah, it is. It's Terry Wilson's second rushing touchdown of the game on an HB, not a halfback blast, but a QB blast. Okay, let's see if Vanderbilt can make some noise here and respond. And looks like you got interfered with by his own guy. Okay, second 10. So, Second and ten for Vanderbilt. And it looks like he's just going to take off, and we were all over that one. Ken Seals going backwards. Okay, not taking any chances here. You know the deal. Pascal's going to drop back in coverage, but they're just going to go to the ground, which I've been fooled before on the ground in long situations, but not that time. Okay, so we're already on their side of the field here. Some uh, halfback power. Again, this is open. I think Vanderbilt is a good team. I'll give them that. They have a decent offense, and their defense is somewhat good at the pass, but, man, we are moving their defensive line like it's no one's business. Okay, this time we are back to the air game. Rig is open enough for me to pass it. I'm not going to let that play develop anymore. Okay, back to a counter here. And uh, almost the first down. Third and inches. Just go ahead and give this to Rose. They were not prepared to even defend that. They didn't. First and ten, we were going to go to the air. 
Just hit rig immediately. I saw the potential on the outside. He had so much space. Going to go with another Rodriguez counter real quick. Try to hit him with a quick counter. Snap it pretty quick. Hey, five out again here. Kind of want to get a passing touchdown on the board. I tried to throw it just for the giggles of it, but it was inaccurate. Okay, so I'll have to run a little bit out of the bunch set here. Oh, man, they read that one, too. Thought if I hit it quick, it could be a touchdown. Okay, so it, interesting twin back here. I'm just going to hit that. I, they couldn't react. This time on a slant route, we're able to hit it at just the right time. Thomas Jr. was perfectly placed in between that zone. Okay, so let's see if Vanderbilt can respond to that at all. Just has not been their half whatsoever, and I was about to clobber this man if he was staying on his feet. And is he going to run with this one? No, no, no. He's just going to take the hit this time. He's going to get sacked for eight yards. Coverage sack, whatever you want to call it. Third and 22, I would not be surprised if this was a run, but it is not. How did he drop that? That was like the one spot on the field that was not covered. <laughs> they almost had it. Okay, so we're just going to keep the ball on the ground here. You're going to see a lot of running in the second half, probably. But, I mean, we're almost knocking on the door to score again, so I don't know. Okay, second and none. Just going to go empty backfield. And that's picked. Could have swore I could have had either receiver down low right there. I guess it's just too much of a clouded, clouded area. I mean, look, I feel like that's catchable. First and ten under center. It's not my man. I can't guard that. First and ten. Let's see what they're going to do, man, in motion. I think they're done. How does that pass work? How do you do that? How is my pass intercepted, but that one's not? Second and five, shotgun look. You're going to sit. Yep. Everyone else is going to sit, and you're going to throw it away. Actually going to be Pascal here. That's a screen. And you are out! <laughs> Felt like a baseball umpire or something. Okay, so we're going to come out in the Wildcat, just see what it's what it's all about. I wanted to run a few sets out of it, at least, but it doesn't seem like it's good for long yardage plays. We're going to go back to the ground here, just see if we can't make this third down a little bit easier. Okay, third and six. Let's see if we can't just get the first down here. That's the pass I have to make, and it is a first down, Josh Ali. Okay, second and ten now. Everything is on a cross here. We're just going to go straight to Rodriguez out of the backfield. That was open immediately, and I was like, hey, you can probably get a first down with that. Another run play here. It's been working so far, at least. Counters have been working with both backs so far. They're going to give us the first down for that after a weird glitch. Okay, so we're going to run some inside zone split, just letting the clock tick down a little bit more, and that's seven yards. Segment three, just back to the ground, keep it simple. And it is a first down. Chris Rodriguez now with 88 yards on the day. Okay, so we got some slants on first down here with Rose as a possible receiver. And uh, that's open enough for me to throw it. Brandon Oliver down the 11. Second and nine. We're going to go through the air here and see if we can just get a touchdown right here, right now. That is not exactly where I wanted to throw the football. That's definitely had a different vision of that break going over the top, but that was passed below. That was like the opposite. First and ten. They are spreading out a little bit here. But they're going to run the ball for whatever reason. I, don't, I think they're done trying to compete with this game. Second and eleven now. I'm hoping they'll actually pass or do something. Other than what they're doing. I mean, that's a screen. And it's six. Okay. First and ten, everyone's on the left side here. And somehow they get yardage out of that. I'm not quite sure. Second and four now. 
Man in motion. I guess I have this guy. If he breaks free, and he does. Uh, oh, oh, where are you going? Where are you going? He doesn't know where to go. Ken Seals was on skates. Third and 11. They're just going to play it. And no one's open. He's going to get sacked again. Ken Seals going down. Okay, so I wonder if Vanderbilt's going to start calling timeouts here. I can't believe they're even giving this up because I'm just going to run the ball. And it doesn't look like they are. We're going to run one more play, and that'll be game. Okay, so that's going to be game. We're going to walk out of Vanderbilt, out of Music City, with a 42-14 to win. And it was special teams and the running game that carried us today. So Terry Wilson's actually going to get player of the game despite two picks. Two picks that really didn't need to be thrown, but... Anyways, running game was great. Special teams was great. Defensive touchdowns. It's This game had it all, quite frankly. Okay, so when it comes to quarterbacks here, Terry... I mean, not as great as today, but when you take into consideration his rushing touchdowns, then yes, for sure. But I will say Ken Seals, despite... The pressure that was thrown in his face. We're going to be seeing this guy for a while. He's just a freshman. 17 of 25, 258 and a touchdown. Avoided ma making any kind of mistakes here. So definitely good on his part. Vanderbilt, not a very good uh, day on the ground considering rushing yards and sacks are connected still somehow. But our running game was about as good as you can ask for. Rodriguez was the bull. Rose was the horns, and Wilson did everything else that came with a bull with horns. So when you go to receiving, not the greatest day because we didn't really need the receiving game to pull through for us, but it was helpful at different times in the game, but it's rare that you actually saw a passing play this game from us, so that's one thing. For Vanderbilt, you know, it's kind of a mixed bag held them in contain there as well so yeah okay so we're gonna go ahead and get the closer here as a skill i kind of forgot that these uh, up top here was unlocked but since we're at the end of the season might as well snag this one and then we can work on the others from there okay so i'm not going to really cover recruiting at all this week but let's go to the top 25 polls after that we still have the same teams that are undefeated it looks like and we actually move up to 10th, so we are now in the top 10 for the first time in a long time for Kentucky. But Louisville hanging on there. It'd be interesting to see where they finish this season. But next week is going to be a very interesting matchup. As we can see, we're going to be playing at Georgia. They are only 5-5 five and five this season, but we know how difficult... Georgia can be. I wonder if they have any injuries to deal with. We'll look at that next time. But I hope you guys have enjoyed. And as always, have a nice day. Uh, oh, where are you going? Where are you 